Hello everyone, I am Ashwini, Assistant Professor, Department of CSAML at MLR Institute of Technology. Welcome back to another session of Artificial Intelligence. In today's session, we are going to learn about Bayesian Belief Networks. So, let's see overview of the today's session. In this session, we are going to see about Bayesian Belief Networks introduction, example and advantages and disadvantages of Bayesian Belief Networks. Let's see the introduction. So, in this uh, introduction, we will see why Bayesian belief networks are required, what is the usage of the Bayesian belief networks. So, the Bayesian belief networks will deal the probabilistic events and solve a problem which has uncertainty. So, why we are saying this as a probabilistic events because the Bayesian belief networks are in this uh, real world scenario, will say will uh, maximum applications will we will use the probability distribution. So, for example, if you see the weather and you can say the 90 percent, uh, um, 90 percentage of uh, there is a chance of uh, rain falling. So, there is a probability of 90 percent, 10 percent is not occurring there, uh, not uh, going to fall the rain. So, here uh, the real world applications, so we will uh, uh, talk about using the probability. So, here also the Bayesian belief networks deal with the probabilistic events and to solve a problem which has uncertainty. So, a Bayesian network is a probabilistic graphical model which represents a set of variables and their conditional dependencies using a direct acyclic graph. So, there is a directions will be there in the graph and which is a acyclic. So, there is no cycles forms in the graph. And it is also called as a base network, belief network, decision network, Bayesian model. Okay. So, the Bayesian network are probabilistic because these networks are built from a probability distribution and also probability theory for prediction. Uh, I, just now I said 90 percentage there is a chance of uh, rain, uh, rain falling. So, here real world applications are probabilistic in nature and to represent the relationship between multiple events we need a Bayesian network anomaly detection. So, it is used in various tasks including prediction, anomaly detection, diagnostics, automated insight, reasoning, time series production and decision making under uncertainty. So, we can say means that the humans also can't guarantee uh, that 100 percent statement is true. In such a way, here also there is a probability says that 90 percent, 80 percent means it is not guarantee 100 percent there is a rainfall. So, in such a real world applications, real world scenarios will use the probability. So, to um, find out the uncertainty in the probabilistic uh, uh, events or probability distribution, we will use the Bayesian belief networks. Okay. Let us see one example. So, the Bayesian network can be used for building models from data and expert opinions and it consists of two parts. One is a DAG, a direct acyclic graph, another one is a CPT, conditional probability table. So, here this is the graph direct acyclic graph. So, A, B, C, D are called as uh, variables. Okay. So, here if you observe A and B, A is the parent to the B and these arcs are the dependencies, means uh, there is a relationship. So, here A is a parent to B and C is the independent to A. There is no relation in the A to C. So, each node corresponds to the random variable and a variable can be a continuous or discrete. Our car directed arrow represents the casual relationship or conditional probability between random variables. These directed links are arrow connected the pair of nodes in the graph that is what we have seen A to B, B to C. Okay. These links represent the one node directly influence the other node. See here A to B, but A to C there is no conditional dependency. It is C is the independent to A. There is no directed link means that nodes are independent with each other. Okay, so we already seen A, B, C, D are random variables represented by the nodes of the network graph. If you are considering node B which is connected with node A by a directed arrow, then node A is called a parent of node B. Node C is independent of node A. The Bayesian network graph does not contain any 
cyclic graph hence it is known as direct acyclic graph or dag the bayesian network has mainly two components casual component and actual numbers so let's see here the formulas each node in the bayesian network has conditional probability distribution which represented with probability of xi given parent of xi so the b is dependent on a probability of b given on parent a which determines the effect of the parent on that node bayesian network is based on the joint probability distribution and conditional probability let's see the joint probability distribution so which means the all the random variables are linked with one to another if you have variables x1 to xn then probability of a different combinations it will start with the x1 followed by x2 and so on xn minus 1 let's see the uh, formula the joint uh, probability distribution probability of x1 given on x2 comma x3 comma and so on xn into probability of x2 comma x3 comma and so on xn so in the same way until we will reach the last variable we have to write the probability joint probability so probability of x1 given on x2 x3 and so on xn into probability of x2 given x3 and so on xn and probability of xn minus 1 given xn into probability of xn for example here we are having four variables okay so we will write like this probability of a given b comma c comma d into probability of b comma c comma d and the same we can write probability of a given b comma c comma d into probability of b given c comma d into probability of c given d into probability of d this is called joint probability in general for each variable xi we can write the equation as probability of xi given xi minus 1 and so on x1 equal to probability of xi given probability of parent of xi so a bayesian belief network or simply bayesian network provides a simple way of applying bayes theorem to complex problems let's understand this bayesian network through an example let's understand the scenario first this is a scenario followed by we'll see the what is the problem how we can solve that problem using bayesian belief network so the scenario is harry installed a new burglar alarm at his home to detect burglary the alarm reliably respond at detecting burglary but also responds for minor earthquakes so harry installed a burglar alarm in, in at his home to detect burglary okay harry has two neighbors david and sophia who have taken responsibility to inform harry at work when they hear the alarm david always calls harry when he hears the alarm but sometimes he got confused with the phone ringing and calls at that that time on the other hand sophia likes to listen to high music so sometimes she misses to hear the alarm here we would like to compute the probability of burglary alarm here the problem is calculate the probability that alarm has sounded but there is neither a burglary nor an earthquake occurred and david sophia both called the her so this is the problem so uh, there is an alarm alarm and there is a burglary and earthquake these two are the parent nodes when they two will happens then alarm will ring next when alarm rings then david and uh, sophia both will call to the harry when he, he is in the work so the solution the bayesian network for the above problem is given the network structure is showing that a burglary and a earthquake is the parent nodes of the alarm and directly affecting the probability of alarms going off but david and sophia calls dependent on alarm probability and this uh, 
Sophia and David are independent to the earthquake and Belgrade. The network is representing that our assumption do not directly perceive the burglary and also do not notice the minor earthquake. And they also not confer before calling. There is no confirmation directly they will call to the Harry. So, the conditional distribution for each node A, conditional probability table, each row in the CBT must be summed to 1 because all the entries in the table represent an exhaustive set of cases for the variables. In CPT, a Boolean variable with k Boolean parents contains a 2 to the power of k probability. Hence, if there are two parents, then CPT will contain four probability values. Let's see. So, the list of all events occurring in this network, burglary represented with B, earthquake E, Alarm A, David calls D, Sophia calls S. We write, we can write the events of problem statement in the form of probability, probability of D comma, S comma, A comma, B comma, E. Can rewrite the above probability statement using joint probability. Already we have written the A, B, C, D uh, diagram, the before uh, problem example. So, here probability of D, S, A, B, E, we can rewrite the formulas as probability of D given S, A, B, E into probability of S, A, B, E. The same we can rewrite like this probability of D given S, A, B, E into probability of S given A, B, E into probability of A, B, E. In the next line, probability of A S given A comma B comma E, probability of A given B, let's look at the next one, probability of D given A means whatever uh, independent are there, we will eliminate those uh, things because there is no information about them. So, we will eliminate that one, whatever independent el elements are there, variables are there, we will consider only that one. Look, look at the last one. Probability of D given A. Whenever alarm rings, D calls. Probability of S given on A. Whenever A alarm rings, then Sophia calls. Probability of A given B comma E. Whenever either Bulgari or earthquake, then alarm rings. Next, probability of B given A. So, the E is the earthquake and B is a bulk layer and probability of E earthquake. Okay. These are the scenarios. This is the formula. We can write uh, as it is a joint probability, but there is a conditional dependency need to be there. If there is no conditional dependency to e, the each uh, variable, then we have to eliminate those uh, conditional probability formulas and wherever dependency is there, we will consider only that uh, variables only. So, these are the uh, values. When probability of B equal to true, the value is 0 0.002, which is the probability of Bulgari, probability, which is the probability of no Bulgari, probability of B equal to false, probability of E equal to true, which is the probability of minor earthquake, probability of E equal to false, which is the probability that an earthquake not occurred. Okay. This is the graphical representation already said. Bulgari, earthquake are the parent nodes. When these two happens, then alarm rings. So, alarm is dependent on the Bulgari and earthquake. When alarm rings, David calls and Sophia calls. So, these two are uh, dependent on the alarm. So, whenever Bulgari true, then the value is 0 0.002. False is 0 0.998. Next, earthquake. When it is true, 0 0.001. F false means 0 0.99. Already we have seen the values. Next, David calls probability of alarm. Whenever alarm rings, then David calls true is 0 0.91, false is 0 0.09. When it is false, 0 0.05, 0 0.95. In the same way, Sophia also. Whenever alarm rings, probability of Sophia calls to the Hari true 0 0.75, false 0 0.25. Whenever alarm rings, Sophia not calls 0 0.02 and false 0 0.98. Next, alarm. 
Bulgaria earthquake. Whenever the Bulgaria and alarm uh, earthquake happens, true, true, then alarm true. Rings 0.94, false 0.06. In the similar way, true, false, false, true, false, false. All these are the values. And we will substitute these values in this uh, previous formula and we will know the what is the uncertainty using the Bayesian belief networks. Let us see the advantages of the Bayesian belief networks. Since this model encodes dependencies among all variables, it can easily handle situations where some data entries are missing. It is intuitively easier for human to understand direct dependencies and local distributions than complete joint, joint distribution. It can be used to learn casual relationship and hence can be used to gain understanding about a problem domain and to predict the consequences of intervention. These are the advantages. So, it is it can easily handle the situation and direct dependencies and local distribution than complete joint distribution. Let us see the disadvantages. The probabilities are described as a single numeric point value. This can be a distortion of the precision that is actually available for supporting evidence. There is no way to differentiate between ignorance and uncertainty. These are distinct two different concepts. All branches must be calculated to find the probability of any branch of the network. So, that is what a joint probability because Bayesian belief network is a uh, combination of joint probability and conditional probability. Even though the resulting ability to describe the network can be performed in linear time, this process of network discovery is an NP hard task. It might be either too costly or to perform or impossible given the number and a combination of variables. These are the disadvantages of Bayesian belief networks. So, in summary, we have seen the introduction why we use the Bayesian belief networks because the real world scenarios uh, will maximum will use the probability distribution. So, it is easy to find out the uncertainty in the probability events by using Bayesian belief networks. Next, we have seen the example by taking considering a scenario uh, of Harry, Sophia, David, Bulgaria and earthquake. Next, uh, we have seen advantages and disadvantages of Bayesian belief networks. Thank you.